guys, this is Bob. So, uh, you know, there's already a metric crap ton of seven days to dive, you know, playthrough videos out there, but uh, I haven't played it in a while, and, uh, you know, there's a new update out, so I figured I'd uh, mess around with it a bit and see how far I can get um, before I die. Uh, and I figured I'd uh, go ahead and record it, and since I'm starting a new game, why not start a new recording? So uh, here it is. So I figured I'd uh, show you what I've got for settings here. Um, I'm not going to go crazy on, on, on difficulty level. I think Nomad, Nomad is enough for now. Uh, I, I stretched my day length out because, let's face it, um, shooting this, f filming in the dark, it, it sucks. You can't see much. So, you know, as much time as we can have, we can have. Uh, you know, day-night running uh, and day-walking, night running. Uh, aggression levels normal. Um, I ran my uh, daylight cycle out to 120 minutes. Um, same reason, I you know, filming at night. Okay, yeah, you know, there's a lot goes on at night, but it's hard to see, and you know, you guys want to see stuff, and I I want to see stuff, and I want to get out and play it. So I don't want to fart around with uh, too much day, uh, too much nighttime. Um, you know, a lot of people are torn on, on spawn, you know, whether to spawn at all or not at all. It's an ongoing conversation I have uh, here at the house with the kids, um, you know, because it's not realistic. Well, you know, you're playing a zombie game, so how realistic is it really? So, you know, it's compromised. I just, I run it on five every five days. Um, zombie memory, 30 seconds. Uh, you know, I don't want to spend forever with them chasing me around, but, you know, that's enough. Um I don't think you guys want to sit and watch the little spinny wheel go, so I turn the craft timer off and the loot timer off. Um, airdrops every day. I probably won't go after them every day, you know. And, of course, you know, oh, it's not realistic. You're getting an airdrop every day. Well, you know, again, we're playing a zombie game here. Maybe I'll go after them. Maybe I won't. But, you know, I'm just going to start it off that way. So, uh, you know, we're going to call this Dead Zed um, just for the fun of it. And, um single player game sometimes I play with the kids and we do a, a multiplayer game but most of the time when I'm playing this I play it by myself um, just as kind of a time killer so uh, you know that's kind of the way I prefer it so let's get started here and see what we got Alright, so here we go. Ah, we're in the desert. Let's see, uh, let's see, give or take where we're at here. Um, looks like we're pretty close to the, uh, to the, to the central city. Um, I tend to like to mark it, uh, right off the bat. So I kind of have a reference point of where I'm going. Um, because I kind of like to go towards the, the central city. Um, you know, because there, you know, tends to be a lot of buildings around there, that sort of thing that you can loot and raid. I, I don't want to take the city itself on right off the bat, but, but I want to be near it um, just so I got, you know, I'm not farting around forever in a day. So there we go. That's close enough. So we'll set a waypoint there. All right. So let's see what we got. Um, so we're in the middle of a desert on the side of a hill. So uh, let's get down here and get some loot. And uh, hopefully we don't break a leg. Uh, my understanding, I guess, that's kind of been fixed. Uh, it used to be I used to break my leg all the time. Uh, I tend to take risks on the sides of hills and stuff like that. Some things I'm a pretty cautious player, and some things I'm I'm kind of an idiot. Uh, you know, and I I'll, I'll take things right to the you know to the point of being dead, and and then run away and. You know, so sometimes I'm more dead than others. Um, what I thought I'd do for this game, though, is I thought I would uh, make a deal with myself that at least for the first seven days, um, if I die, then I'm dead. And uh, after that, you know, we'll see. But for the first seven days, um, I think I'm going to, you know, if I die, I die. I'm dead. And after that, if I die, well, you know, we'll see. Okay, so are we hitting right? There we go. Now we're hitting stick. Maybe. There we go. There's one. 
So let's get ourselves some sticks here. And I know there's a piece of wood sitting over here. Go get that too. Um, or, or not. I guess apparently you can't pick them up now. Okay, so there's there's a change that I did not know about. Um, apparently, uh, apparently you can't pick up the wood. So there you go. Learn something new every day. All right, so let's get, get a rock. Um, right off the bat, let's make an axe. Uh, axe. One thing they did change that I do kind of like is it automatically fills up your uh, crafting box now. Um, I've noticed it's a little wonky sometimes. Sometimes it does fill, sometimes it doesn't fill, and you got to go and manually put the stuff in. I don't know what's up with that. Um, whether, you know, it's just because I'm... I'm I'm playing this on a Mac, so, uh, you know, there may be some issues with it because I'm on a Mac. I don't know. Um, you're also going to see some, some lag because and some quality issues because this is an older Mac. It's, an, it's a 2009 iMac, and, uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, it's, it's my work computer. Um, I do, you know, a lot of graphic design stuff and a lot of um, 3D modeling stuff. Oh, there we go. 45 millimeter bang. Uh, 45 magnum bullet and unlock the 45 magnum cool um you know so so i do photography and so i'm using uh you know photoshop and things like that on this a lot and it, it, it works it suits my needs um you know i don't have a whole lot of time to game so i i game when i can more as a, a time killer and a distraction and, and relaxation than anything else so you know i don't have a big uh, you know, game, game machine, uh, PC game machine. If somebody wants to, you know, buy me one, I, I'm, I certainly wouldn't turn it down. Um, you know, I'd happy to, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. But in the meantime, you know, this one suits my needs, and uh, I get by with it. So let's see. Looks like there's something big over here. Maybe it's a chest or a uh, a bag or something. So let's go over here and see what we got. Uh, yep, duffel bag. All right, great. So now we got some clothes. So now you guys get to see what what character looks like. Um, yeah, I'm a guy, but I I tend to like to play female characters. I don't know. It's just a little quirk of mine. It's you know, it's the internet, right? You be whatever you want and be whoever you want to be. And now there's a house up there, you know, and all of that. So you know, it's just fun. Um, I'm uh been a gamer for a long time, mostly role-playing games, stuff like that, pencil and paper stuff. Um, to give you kind of a clue of my experience as far as computers and such like that, um, and, and kind of give you a little bit of a clue, I'm going to tell my age a little bit here. Um, my first ever computer that I had myself personally, uh, bought for myself, uh, was a Commodore 64. Uh, <laughs> So that kind of tells you the age. And I actually, believe it or not, still have it in the closet. It still works. Um, one of these days, who knows, maybe I'll pull it out and play with it some more. Um, I, I have a metric crap ton of five and a quarter floppies that uh, that I had with it. And, you know, the old saying was patience is a 1541 disk drive. Um, you, you started to load a program and you went and made yourself lunch and came back and Maybe it was loaded by the time he got back. So that's that's where I started out playing games. Um, you know, it, and it kind of went from there. I mean, I I know pe people who have had trash 80s, you know, TRS 80s, uh, and what have you. Um, when I was a kid, we had a an old, you know, fake wood grain plastic uh, Atari video game with, you know, Pong and Tank and all them other stupid things on it, so, you know, um, so now that you've kind of guessed how old I am, I'll tell you, I'm, fifth, I'm in my 50s, um, but, you know, I, uh, I have a degree in game design, um, I'm an associate's in game design, I have an associate's in, you know, photography, uh, graphic design, movie making, um, right now I'm a, I'm actually an adjunct professor, um, at the local college, I teach movie making, uh, teach summer camp when I teach uh, you know college kids um, introduction to movie making and it's fun uh, it's interesting to see what they come up with so 
Alright, so I think we got enough supplies. Let me go over here and make a bow before we go over and check this thing out because there's definitely somebody down there. Okay, I don't have enough sticks yet. Let me go get some more sticks. Um, because we definitely want a bow. We want some arrows. So, we want some sticks. Um, uh-oh. So, sounds like, uh, somebody's already coming after me anyway. So, let's, uh, let's get this bow made. Um, start, stop dicking around here. Um, I will warn you, I do cuss. I cuss a lot. It's just me. Um, if you don't like that, don't watch. You know, uh, who knows whether I'll make more of these or not. What the? All right. We're not playing there. Uh, I don't know if I'll make more of these or not. I just figured I'd play around with it and see how it goes. Um, and go from there. So, you know, if you guys like it, great. Let me know. Um, and I'll keep making them. If you don't like it, let me know. And, you know, tell me I suck. Which, you know, I do. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it is what it is. You know, I do this for fun. And, uh do it for myself. Now, like I say, there's a bit of lag going on here. I don't know why I was trying to destroy that, but force a habit, maybe. Uh, there's the tab key. All right, so, uh, Bo, before these guys get down there and uh, kick my ass. There we go, Bo. Craft. And, uh, come on. So, like I say, this autofill thing is really nice. Um, I can't count the number of times that I've gotten killed just, you know, trying to transfer stuff from one place to the other. Um, like, I get some lag issues at times, and I'll be trying to get something filled, and by the time I get it filled, they, they kick my ass. So there we go. So let's reload this. Now, one of the things I've heard um, is that uh, everybody's saying that they've really nerfed the new bo the bow now. And uh, you can't kill things with it. But um, I have found in just a little bit of playing around that I've done that you can still pretty much one-shot the zombies. Um, except for the big guys, the, 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 uh, the Magnum PI looking guys. Uh, those guys, not so much. But, the, but these little ones, yeah, you can kill them. Now, now these shambling ones that bounce up and down are a little bit harder because what you have to do is you have to hit them in the head and the other part of that is you have to aim a little bit above their head because now there's there's ballistic drop so uh, the arrows drop as they go there we go I hate those guys they're hard to kill um, but I'll be honest what I hate the most in this game are the dogs I hate the dogs. Alright, yeah, we're definitely getting a lot of lag here. I may have to change some settings to, to deal with that. Um, run the quality down a little bit, but, you know, I didn't ex wasn't sure how it was going to do with the, the video software going, too. I always take the nurses out because you just never know. They usually have some good stuff. All right, Mr. Shambly. So, uh, some of these guys... Ah, come on. This is why I hate these guys, because I can never quite get them at the right level until they're right on top of me, and then I get hit by them. So, I usually keep a little bit of distance from these guys and just go for center of mass and just beat them to death you know, um, with the bow instead of trying to, but once in a while I can get them in the head, um, and not have to spend forever trying to kill them. Oh, look, uh, so this is my ex-girlfriend, that's kind of, you know, I, I have nicknames for a lot of these, these different zombies, and, uh, this one just kind of reminds me of my ex-girlfriend, so that's what I... Okay, come on, Morlin. Hit, hit the broad side of a barn, Bob. There we go. Alright, level three. So, uh, yeah, this lag is, is for, for shit, man. Okay, we're going to have to fix that. 
So, like I was saying, I got nicknames for a bunch of these guys. We kids have come up with some as well. Um, you know, these guys are wife beaters uh, just because that's what they're wearing. Um, again, girlfriend here, this, is, this reminds me a lot of my ex-girlfriend. I mean, for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, just, you know, kind of the way she dresses, I guess. And two, if I could shoot her in the head here. There we go. I mean, it's kind of named appropriate as well, appropriately as well. Uh, you know, it kind of reminds me of her. Now, these guys with the green shirts, I don't have a nickname for them yet. So if you guys, you know, think of something and you want to pass that along, uh, by all means, do so. And uh, maybe I'll start uh, using your nickname if, if it's a good one and it sticks. Um, the nurses, I, I call them Betty. Uh, you know, Nurse Betty, just a, I don't know, so I heard that name somewhere. So, um, the guys, like, with the Hawaiian shirts, the fat guys, like I say, um, they, uh, they're Magnum P.I. And the interesting thing about that is, is, uh, the boy child is 16, and, uh, him and his friends came up with, uh, actually came up with that nickname. So, uh... You know, I thought that was funny because uh, given the fact that they're only 16 uh, and they actually know who Magnum P.I. is, that, that was pretty funny to me. All right, Betty, give me give me your stuff. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to play with this and we'll see how it goes and what I can do. All right, now we got enough, I think that uh, I think we've killed off most everybody that was around this house at this point. Let's go over here and check it out. Let's see if we can uh, let's pick up some more rocks. Oh, I hear somebody. My giggly girlfriend. Where is she at? Or is that a... Uh, maybe she's in the house. I hear her swinging away at something. I think she... Oh, there she is. She's on the porch. Oh, this is the other, the other lady. Uh... There you go. Duck right at the right time. Come on. You duck. Now I'll shoot you. There you go. There we go. That, that makes me better. It makes me happy now. All right. Let's get some more rocks. What do we need for more arrows here? Because um, we definitely got to have some more arrows. So we got feathers. We got rocks. Okay, we need sticks. We need some more sticks, folks. So let's get some sticks real quick. I don't want to go in there without, you know, at least a few arrows. Go over here and cut these trees down. Now, this is another one of those things that has been changed. Um, you cut these trees down now, and they will fall on you. Um, you can also get them to fall on the zombies, but... I've not been able to get that to happen yet. I'm just not uh, that good at aiming a tree, I suppose. Um, but they will fall on you, and they will kill you um, if they fall in your direction. So be ready to move out of the way when they go, because, you know, they will cause some damage. And like I say, man, there's some serious lag here. So we're, we're definitely going to be changing that a little bit. Um. I already started this one, so I might as well go ahead and go with it right way, the way it is. All right, there we go. So that should give us some sticks. We should be able to make ourselves some arrows now. Um, there we go. Um, now, the other thing you want to do is you want to keep your stuff repaired. Now, they've, they've done this quality thing, and everything takes damage and wears out eventually. Um, and... Uh, that's one of those things you definitely want to keep your bow and your axe and what have you repaired because the last thing you want to do, and I've done it a lot, is to be in the middle of combat and suddenly find you, you can't shoot your bow anymore. Um, especially when you got a zombie right up your ass. So, you know, um, keep your bow repaired. Um, especially these first bows because they are, are for crap. Um, you know, you can kill things with them. I mean, I, I, I managed to 
to kill some things with them. I, I actually have managed one time to kill a bear with uh, with this poor bow, or with this, this faulty bow, or whatever it is. Uh, if we run across the bear, and uh, I got decent health or something, and I've got not got a bunch of zombies up my ass, uh, maybe I'll show you guys. Uh, it can be done. Um, you have to take advantage of the double damage that you get from crouching. Um, you know, and maybe maybe that's not you know realistic, I guess. But again. You know, especially if the bear's chasing you, you get damaged because they don't know you're there, supposedly, but yet you're there and they know you're there. Um, but, like I said before, it's a freaking zombie game, folks. Um, what's realistic about that? Okay, now we got a pot. Now, that was that's a big thing for me. I, I always have problems at the beginning with water. Um, I... I I try to avoid, of course, drink. Oh, no, we're going to leave that because we, we don't want that. Do we have anything else we can convert? Okay. Um, I don't want to get sick, so I don't drink the, the nasty-ass water. Um, and ultimately, I end up, you know, with the problem of, oh, you know what? Let, let's, let's go ahead and use this first. Get that out of the way so that in case we die, we're, we're not totally losing that. Now we know how to make a crossbow. Um, that's one thing they've changed in the game, I guess, is a lot more stuff is no longer in books. It's now in schematics. So, you know, you need schematics for everything. Now, I have read that uh, they changed the, um, the forge. You don't need to forge a head book anymore. Apparently now what you uh, what you need is is bellows. You can make a forge at any time. Um, but what I've also read is that in order to make the bellows, you need a schematic. Now I don't know if that's true or not. I've not done one yet. But to me, it sounds like all they're doing is just changing what you need the schematic for. They haven't really eliminated the need for a schematic they just now it's instead of needing one for the forge and a forge ahead book now you just need one now you need one for the for the bellows so i don't know what that's supposed to accomplish or change it doesn't make sense to me i mean i understand realism and wanting a lot of things for realism's sake um and yes it would be realistic if you had a a bellows in order to you know make your make your forge work but there's a fine line in my opinion between realism and just getting stupidly overcomplicated and then it you know you end up unplayable so i'm a little torn on it i get why they've done it again i don't know if you have to have a, a um schematic for it or not yet um i'll have a better of opinion of what i think of the idea once I know that for sure. Uh, but right now, I think they've just added something else to the game, just to add something, and I don't know that it's going to, you know, add quality to the game or not. We'll see. Um, certainly, if, if you don't need a schematic at all, then great. Um, you know, because that was always one of those things. There's, there's kind of a fine line between how much you put in the game and how much you don't as far as the ability to access things. What I mean is with the Forge Ahead book, you had to have the Forge Ahead book to create a forge. So you were stuck until you had that um, and a lot of things kind of rely on that. So then as a game designer, you got to decide, okay, how many do I put in the game? You know, I want to make it challenging to find it because I want the players to have to look around. I don't want to just, you know, spoon feed them and hand it to them. Um, but on the flip side, if you put too few, then what do you do? It becomes, you know, um, impossible to do, and people get tired, and they say, you know what, the heck with this, I'm not playing, you know, anymore, because it's, this is stupid. Um, on the other hand, if you put too many, then what you end up with is Iron Reinforced Club, Iron Reinforced Club, but that one's a better one. So there you go. But then you end up with too many, and you end up in a situation where all you find is these stupid 
you know, books over and over and over again. So it's a judgment call. Um, now, if they've made it so you don't need it anymore, you know, maybe that maybe that'll help. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I've also heard that now you and I've seen in the last update you couldn't do it. I don't know. We'll see what happens with this update. I haven't tried it yet. Um, they got rid of being able to make molds for guns and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to miss not having those um, because it, it makes it really convenient. If you break one, you make one. On the other hand, um, I think it makes you a little more uh, responsible with your, with, with your stuff now because, you know, there is a chance of, of ruining it and not having it and not being able to find a new one. Um, so it does kind of make uh, make you repair your stuff, you know? And and I, I don't I don't fault that. I kind of like that idea. Um, please don't run into the cactuses. I run into the cactuses a lot. I like the desert because I can find uh, bird's nests a lot easier than I normally can um, in, say, the grasslands. But... I run into the cactuses a lot because I, I, I don't know. I'm just clumsy, maybe. So, ooh, okay. So I got her attention. So let me uh, back up here a little bit and uh, give the uh, cheerleader here a little present. Okay, let me. Like I say, it's you got to kind of aim over their head, but not too high over their head. It kind of varies. There you go. See? One shot. It kind of varies on how far away they are. Um, as I get a little more practice, I get a little better over time. Um, a little bit of Kentucky windage going. Oh, there's a bunch of tents over there. So, anyway, like I say, I, was, I like the desert because I can uh, find the bird's nest a lot easier. Um, now, I'm going to try something new with this game that I've not... Oh. Hello, crawler. Now, the crawlers, I, I call them crawlers. The guys that bob up and down, I call them shamblers because they just, you know, they just kind of shamble along, and they're the hardest ones for me to kill. These guys, pretty simple. Um, but anyway, I, uh, I'm going to try a little something a little different with uh, where I set up my camp at first. Um, normally, what I do is I, I go to a cliff face, and I will build into a cliff face and then dig down. I'll dig in and then down. Um, and that works. I mean, I, you know, I've had pretty good luck with it. Um, but one thing that I have, uh-oh, and I hear a bear. One thing that I've uh, found with it, it seems to me like the wandering zombies, especially the ones that wander around at night, um, seem to like bump into the cliffs and get stuck there and then and then they find they hear me doing stuff down under the ground and then they want to dig through the cliff um, the other day I was watching a video and I cannot for the life of me remember who it was um, but whoever it was had gone out to a flat spot of desert and just dug down and and built a an underground on a flat spot of desert and what it looks like to me is that if you do that, when the zombies wander around, um, they just walk over top of your place. They don't stop and uh, hang out like they do if you build it on a cliff. So, I'm going to try that this game. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and, and find a nice flat place. Like I said, I want to kind of be near the center city, but, but not like right on top of it. Um, just because I want to find some some buildings. Now there looks like some tents over there. So um, and one of the things I'm sure everybody you know you've noticed, I, I tend to be a bit of a hoarder um, with my stuff. I, I will you know pick up like absolutely everything. Um, make myself some space here and. Uh, yeah, so I, I tend to hoard a lot of stuff, and I'll, you know, eventually get around to, like, building a chest somewhere. Not even necessarily where I'm going to live, but just somewhere. And, uh, you know, I'll build, like, 
three or four of them and, and just fill them up. Um, now, like if I run across the city, I will build a chest or, 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 or you know, half dozen or whatever outside the city, um, just, uh, just outside the city. And I will uh, use that as kind of a staging area to just raid the hell out of the city. Um, and just so I don't have to take it all the way home and come all the way back. Um, and it seems to work pretty good for me. So, you know, but I will, I, I reach a point eventually, like now, where I am to the point of really needing to put my stuff down. Um, hello, Magnum. Let's see if we can hit you. Yes, we can. Oh, and we killed him, too. It looked, no, we didn't. I thought I killed him. Um, but I am hitting him in the head, so that's two. Three. And... Uh-oh. Now he's up and down. Hard to hit him when they go up, climb up and down. Four hits. Okay, so four hits. I killed him. Um, you know... So everybody says the the, the bow is, is is nerfed. I I don't know. I, I don't, why is it not let me pick anything up? Oh, because he's in a tree, so he's hung up. Where'd he go? So let's. Uh, there we go. Oh, and of course he ain't got nothing. So now I'm wasted. Ay ay ay! Yeah, yeah. Somebody's standing on my head. That was weird. Um, thankfully, uh, standing on my head, he couldn't kill me. Uh, one of these shambler guys. God, I hate these shambler guys. At least it's not freaking dogs. Um, thankfully, I, you know, definitely hate the dogs. Boy, and lag's really kind of killing me here. So generally, uh, these campsites is one of the first places I will raid. Um, because a lot of times they have cooking pots in them. And cooking pots are your friend. Um, you can, you know, make clean water with them. And you can boil eggs with them, which is nice because, you know, when you're out, they don't smell and the zombies don't attack you. But you can also, you know, boil meat in them and what have you. So it is nice having them. All right, let's see if we can one-shot this guy. I have done it before. Not that time. Come on. Okay, well, he's getting a little close. Let's uh, back up here a little bit. I have one-shot at these guys before. Now, I don't know if your level is taken into account on your damage and stuff. Oh, there we go, another level. Or whether, you know, I'm not that much of an expert on this game. I mean, there's people out there that have analyzed this stuff to death. Um, I'm not one of those people. So I don't know whether your level makes a difference within the game uh, as far as your ability to hit things, or the amount of damage you do, or anything like that. I just know you don't die as much because you got more hit points, and you can make better stuff. But beyond that, I'm not entirely sure what the effect level has. Now, you know, they may eventually do more. All right. This lag is, is ridiculous. I'm going to do something about this lag because this is just insane. Um... I, like I say, I apologize. I, mean, I wasn't real sure how the video software would, would, would handle it with, the, you know, running seven days to die and the video software at the same time. And now we know. Um, I'm just I'm going to have to crank down some of the quality a little bit. And there we go. And we'll go from there. But, you know, this is a start. Good pipes. I, 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 you know, I need to get some pipes. How many we got? One. All right. Well, eventually. Because uh, then we can build a grill. Oh, a duffel bag. Uh, now, now it comes decision time. This, see, this is this is where this whole hoarding thing does me in. 
because then I got to start deciding what to keep. Thank you, Betty. Um, definitely trying to go after the nurses whenever I see them because uh, the medical supplies, that's a big deal. Um, they changed the, the hollow trees a while back. I really like these hollow stumps now. They're pretty cool. Oh, what can we get rid of Do we that we don't particularly need? Well, I mean, I, you know, the truth is we, we want, want to keep everything, but we, we don't want to keep everything. Um, again, it goes back to here I am trying to decide again what to get rid of. So we're going to get rid of that. We don't really need it. Um, the corn, I'm not going to be planting right now. I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm going to keep the one cornmeal, though, because... Uh, Right now I don't have any clay, and you can make clay from the cornmeal if you have to. Um, so, well, what was in here that I could, all oh, the peas, that was what we wanted. Um, there's another pot. I think I have one already. I know I have one already. We're going to take the second one. We can always use it to make scrap iron. Oh, flawless shotgun barrel. Now, see, here's where the decisions come in. Um, let's just go ahead. Oh, and I had room for it. Okay. I didn't realize I had room for it. Um, let's, uh, let's, let's go ahead and grab the hammer, put that up there, and, uh, read that. Okay, now we're going to make the hammer. Um, like I say, I think they've gone a little crazy on all of the, uh, schematics. You know, everything's got a schematic now, um, what have you. You know, whatever. I guess it's okay. Some people like that. Some people don't, um, I guess, is the deal. And, you know, to each his own, I suppose. Personally, I think we've gotten a little, a little, little carried away with it, maybe. I don't know. Um, let's see if we got any food here. Now, see, that's what I'm saying. I mean, eventually I'll find corn. I'm not going to worry about the corn right now. Um, let's see where we are in relation to... Uh, so we're heading in the right direction. Um, like I say, I want to be close enough that I can travel, but not so close that, you know... All right, well... We can't pick up any more stones. Now, it looks like there is a house here. If there's a village here, or a town, or whatever you want to call these little groupings of houses, um, then I might go ahead and set up shop right here. Um, but it looks like... Oh, wait. No, there's another house. Something over there. So this might be a group... No. Oh, those are tents. Oh, there's Mr. Bear. Um, all right. So, you know what? Let's do this. I got plenty of arrows. I got plenty of sticks. Let me fix my my bow. I told you guys I'd show you this. So let, let's take a looky-loo. And then I think we'll cut this video off. Um, but for the fun of it, let's go kill Mr. Bear. Or die trying. Um, like I say, I've, I've managed to do it before. Okay, I think he already knows I'm here. Which is a bad thing. Um, and with this lag, I, we'll see. But again, um, let's give it a try. So here's how I do it. I get his attention by shooting him in the ass, it looks like. And then I run like hell. And as I run, I stay crouched. And by staying crouched, if... Where is he? Oh, there he comes. Hello, Mr. Bear. By staying crouched, you get the, the bonus. Now, I don't know if that's kind of cheating. Because, I mean, obviously the bear knows where the fuck you are. But, I, uh... I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth with this. Um... You know. I try not to let him get too close. 
now we're running to the desert. We gotta be careful because we don't want to run into uh, cactuses like that. Told you I run into the cactus a lot. I'm a little clumsy. Now see, there's there we go, and that was with the poor bow, and uh, everybody says, oh, you, you know, the poor bow is nerfed and you can't use it for anything. Well, there you go. Now you've, you've seen. Um, now of course the question is, you know, what do I take? What do I leave? Well, I probably shouldn't take the meat because I know they're going to come after me. But you know what? Screw it. Let's do this. Um, the paper. I don't need paper right now. Sides. I got the book. I mean, I could convert the book, but let's face it, paper's pretty common. The books are pretty common. Um, so I think we're going to leave it at that. And there we go. So there we go. That's, uh, you know, first day. Um, it's only 1.30. Pretty soon I'll have to find a place to stay. So um, let's kill this for the day. And, uh, you know, let me know what you guys think. Uh, you know, if you want to see me do more or not. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye.